see how much money my boyfriend has or see how much he loves me. I don't need to know how much money he has, but I would like to know how much he loves me. We've only been dating for a year, so I won't expect it to be Boyfriend is 90% in love. 90%? That's almost 100%. Oh my gosh, he left me a voicemail. Hey babe, it's me. Just wanted to say I'm excited for our date tonight. Love you. That movie was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Remember when- Oh my gosh, Jake? Heather? From middle school? Yes, it's me. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Hey, Maddie. Hi. You look really different. <laughs> right? We should all hang out. Yeah. I'll message you guys on Insta. Bye. Boyfriend's feelings have changed. Want to see new results? I might regret this, but... Yes. 85% in love. You know what? It's okay. I'm not gonna freak out. It's probably because I wasn't very talkative tonight. I'll just give him a call. Hey. Hey, I... Uh, babe, what's up? Right now really isn't the best time. Why are you out of breath? I just, uh, finished a workout. Okay, well... Gotta go. Wow, he hung up on me. But he never hangs up on me. Maybe I should go over to see... No, I'm not gonna be that person. I'm sure everything's fine. He's just probably really busy. Did you get the answer to number five? Yeah, X equals two and Y equals one. Thanks. Listen, about yesterday, I shouldn't have hung up on you. It's fine. No, it's not fine. And I promise, I'm going to make it up to you today. Okay, babe, keep your eyes closed. Okay. And hold out your hand. Here you go. Do you know what it is? No, but it's something soft. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes. It's a baby elephant. Yeah, I remember elephants are like your favorite animal. So of course I had to get it for you. Want to see boyfriend's feelings. Boyfriend lost more feelings. He's now 80% in love. Wait, what? No, there has to be a glitch or something. I don't understand. He gave me this today and he seemed all happy. How could it have gone down to 80%? Hello? Hey girl, it's Heather. I know it's been a while, but I was wondering if we could have a girl's day. There's something you need to know about Jake. So, what do you say? Can we have a girl's day? You know what? Yeah. Come on over. Thanks for letting me come over, girl. So, what did you want to tell me about Jake? Okay, let's not be pushy. I'll get to that in a minute. Wait, could I give you a facial? Um, I don't know about that. Oh my gosh, Maddie, literally come on. We can bond and then I can spill the tea on Jake. Okay, fine. We can do facials, I guess. Yay. I'm actually going to put some powder on your face because you're like really oily. So about Jake, um, what is it exactly that you wanted to tell me? Hmm, how can I put this in a good way? I know you and I don't have like the best history, but I just have to warn you about Jake. I feel like he's a player. Do you really think so? Yeah, I feel like he kind of likes me and just bought you that elephant out of guilt. Wait, how did you know he gave me that? Basically, he asked me for advice on what to do about you. Huh? See, I didn't want to upset you. Let's talk about something else. Look at your hair. It really needs a little trim. No, no, it's fine. Just can we get back to what we were talking about? No, girly, your split ends really just need a little- <gasps> Ooh, Maddie, I am so sorry. It was just a little hair. Get out. Check boyfriend's feelings. Your boyfriend is falling out of love with you. He's cheating on me with her, I just know it. Love Meter suggests you break up with him. Hey, Maddie, it's me. Maddie, it's me again. I- Stop calling her, she's not gonna answer. Heather, please, can you just call me back? You know what? I don't need him. And I'm going to show him that tomorrow. Maddie, there you are. Look, about Heather, I- Save it. A one-year relationship, and you threw that all away for some blondie who used to bully me in middle school. She came on to me, okay, and I just didn't know how to tell her. You disgust me. Check BF's feelings. Boyfriend gained some feelings for you. Figures. Remove Jake as boyfriend. You will no longer see his feelings. Excuse me? I was wondering if you'd like to come to prom with me? Sure. Really? Because I'm new here, and, well, I guess I'll pick you up a date? Okay. <laughs> okay, see you Saturday. Hey, girly, I heard you have a new boyfriend, so I hope there's no hard feelings. No, of course not. Oh, good, because Jake and I are just, like, so happy together. I can't even focus because your puppy's so cute. Can I hold her? Yeah, sure. You know what to do. I've <laughs> always wanted one like her. Here you go. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Oh, what the? Oh. I think now you can consider us even. Oh. Come on, girl. Your Majesty, look, it's a girl. <sighs> Whoa. She only knows one word. Young lady, do you need help? No. 
Frederick, if she only knows one word, she obviously can't understand you. Of course she needs help. This island is abandoned. Now, now, dear, it's all right. We just want to help you. Now, why don't you give me a hand? <sighs> oh, my. Relax, dear. Here, would you like some food? Ah, yes, you smell that chicken, don't you? Good idea, your majesty. Here, if you want some chicken, you must come with us. I shall bring her to my wife. Since she can't have children, she could adopt this one. Come on, follow us. Ah. Uh... You'll get food in just a minute, my dear. Frederick, quickly. I've got her. Let's go. Oh, you poor thing. You must be scared out of your mind. Don't worry, I'm going to be your mom. Mom? Oh, look, she learned how to say a second word. Yes, I'm going to be your mom. And since I'm queen, you're going to be a princess. Mom. <laughs> yes, dear. Now come with me because we have to give you a makeover. You can't be a princess mm -hmm. looking like that. <laughs> how cute. She probably hasn't had a bath in forever. My dear, are you sure her parents weren't on that island? Well, it's a good thing she can't understand English because there's something sad I have to tell you. What? On our way off the island, we found a ship that was completely shipwrecked and the remains of what appeared to be her parents. Oh, how awful. How could she have survived on that island all by herself? I don't know, but maybe once she learns more words, she can tell us. She's all done, your majesty. Do you like her makeover? She looks wonderful. I'm going to call her Maria. Uh, don't eat that, please. She's going to have a lot to learn, your majesty. She needs to learn manners uh... and... Oh, the poor thing must be hungry again. Come with me, we shall feed you. Your majesty, she's eating like an animal. She was raised on an island. Don't worry, in time she will learn better. Look, a bear. Bear like this in jungle with me, but he brown and he bring me food. Really, Maria? Why, that's incredible. You've learned lots of new words. Maybe now you can tell us what happened on that island. Oh, it's all right. You don't have to. You know you're safe here with me, Maria. I promise. May I see other princesses today? Why, yes, there's a ball today. Socialization is very important for your speech development. Hello, my name is Princess Maria. Oh, you're that adopted princess from, like, the jungle, right? Oh, I cannot understand a lot of words at once. Can you speak slower? Can you understand me now? <laughs> <laughs> jungle freak. <sighs> oh, what's wrong what with a her? weirdo. Okay, Maria, let's try this word. It means appealing or pretty in an endearing way. Cute. Well done, Maria. You have learned another new word. You'll be able to speak so much more to your princess friends. Mom, Dad, I do not want to see the princesses anymore. They were mean. What? what? So me only want... No, no, say I. I only want to see a prince. Oh my. I don't want to meet a dead prince like Romeo. I want a live one. <laughs> what? what? Like in the book you read me, Romeo and Juliet. They dead. Oh, darling, don't worry, you can see a prince. And he will be alive, Maria. As long as he's not rude to you, of course. <laughs> Dad, was that a joke? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Maria, your father was just kidding. But I know just the prince you can meet. Good evening, you must be Princess Maria. Are you a real prince? Uh, yes, to my knowledge. <laughs> do you like bears? Bears? Uh, sure, yeah. I do too. That's nice, yeah, I respect that. I heard you survived on an island all by yourself. I gotta say, I think that's pretty amazing. And look at you, you've learned so many words. You are very nice, and your face is cute. Oh, thanks. I think yours is pretty cute too. I must go now, but I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Hi, I couldn't help but notice you're talking to Prince Ken. Come here, girly, let me see your hand. I think we got off on the wrong foot. I want to be your friend. Friend? Yes, friend. So come with me, because I have something I want to show you. See how Prince Ken is holding my hand in this picture? He doesn't look very happy. Um, of course he was happy. He loves holding my hand. Just give me that. Let me teach you some words. Not interested. I saw the way that you look at him, but he doesn't like you. He would never date a jungle freak. Maria? Shh. She just fell asleep. Did she tell you why she came home so sad? No, she wouldn't say. But dear, your god went back to the island and... We found out some awful news. What? Well, Frederick went back and did some investigating, and he believes her family was trying to start a circus. A circus on an island? Shh, yes. And Frederick believes that they had a bear with them on the boat, and her and the bear were the only ones that survived the shipwreck. That explains why she's so obsessed with bears. Yes, we think the bear was trained, and maybe it helped her survive. Princess, you have a visitor. 
Prince Ken. Whoops, no, it's me. Where is Prince Ken? Oh, I don't know. I told him you didn't want to be around him. You little jungle freak. Stay away from my man. Mm. Ow, ow! Maria, what are you doing? I'm so sorry, this is so unlike her. I know, she just attacked me out of nowhere, but it's okay, your majesty. I know she's different. Thank you for understanding, dear. No, mom, she, she go like this. Your majesty, you have a meeting to attend to, and Prince Ken is here. Prince Ken? No, Maria, you will not be seeing Prince Ken. You are grounded for attacking Princess Rachel. You ought to stay in your room until your father arrives home. I wish I knew how to speak more words. Maria, my dear, I'm back, and I've brought you a surprise. Bear! I went back to the island and found him. He's quite friendly. I know you've been struggling, and I thought seeing him might make you feel less alone. We can keep the bear here in the palace if you'd like. Good night, bear. Hey, psst, Maria, it's me. The guards let me up. I just had to come see you. Princess Rachel tried to tell me you didn't want to talk to me, but I didn't believe her. She's always trying to create some drama. Whoa, is that a bear? Oh, yes, that is Bear, my friend. Your... your friend? Yeah, he take care of me on the island. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Would you ever want to go on a date with me sometime? Really? Okay. I just looked over the camera footage and I saw Princess Rachel attacked you first. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's not okay, but I know how we can stop her. Hey, your mom said you wanted to talk to me? I have a few words to teach you. What? Romeo and Juliet. Huh? Why that? Because if you mess with me again, you will be like them. But they're dead. Wait, are you saying you're gonna try to kill me? Oh no, I won't, but my bear will. Huh? Say hi, bear. <laughs> he says if you ever mess with me again, well, maybe I shouldn't say, but it's bad. <laughs> I have to go, but Prince Ken is all yours, okay? <laughs> well done, Maria. Sorry, we were listening in. You really showed her. You don't need a big vocabulary to hold your own. I can choose between a pen or a teddy bear. I think I'm gonna choose the pen because I heard that it- No, pick the teddy bear. That pen is dangerous and you're not allowed to have it. Do you understand? Of course, stepmother. She never lets me do anything I want. I'm not wasting this opportunity. Legend says that whatever you draw with this pen will come to life. I can draw a teddy bear so when stepmother comes back, she won't get suspicious. I can't believe it worked. So, did you pick the bear? Mm -hmm. See? Oh, yes, I see. Well, that's a good girl. All right, well, I'll be back to check on you later. Wait, but today's my 18th birthday, and you promised that I could leave the palace after I turned 18. Did I say that? It's still too dangerous. Maybe next year. I knew she would never let me go outside. But at least now, I can draw myself a little companion. I've always wanted a puppy. Oh, she's perfect. <laughs> Brielle, open this door. Don't you ever block that do- What was that? You hiding something? What's this? No, wait! What is a puppy doing in your room? Um... I gave it to her, your majesty. I, uh, I bought it as a birthday gift for her. Is that so? Yes, I hope you don't mind. Well, I don't allow pets in my palace. Let me see her. No, wait. Um, if you let me keep the puppy, I promise I won't ever ask to go outside again. Hmm. Do you really promise? I promise. All right, then. You can keep the little beast. <coughs> oh, you must be hungry. Don't worry. I'm going to draw you some food. I'm glad you liked your food. I also drew you a little toy. Hey, congrats on keeping the puppy. Thanks for covering for me. Of course. As your royal guard, it's my job to protect you, even if it's from your own stepmother. So where did the puppy come oh, from? Oh, that's, um, that's kind of a secret. Uh-huh. Well, I'll leave you alone. Wait, if you could just let me out of here for just a few minutes. Princess, you know I can't do that. If the queen caught you outside, she'd- I would be really quick. No, I'm sorry, I have orders. I, I can't, you have to stay in here. This isn't fair. You know what? I bet if I use this magic pen to draw myself outside, I could escape Stepmother forever. I knew it. Give me that pen. No, you are so controlling. I am done listening to you. Too bad this pen only works for no. you. No. <laughs> Let me show you how controlling I can be. You won't ever leave this tower. And this puppy is going away. Take this mutt to the pound. Please don't. I'll do anything. <laughs> really? Draw me young and beautiful, or else your puppy goes away forever. Oh! 
How's this? My wrinkles are gone. Draw me a crown. When you're done, draw me some more horses and a carriage. Let me see. Good. Now draw me more gold. But I just drew you that, and it's been two hours. But it's been two hours. Does it look like I care? All right, I guess it's time for a break. Give me that pen. Gregory, can I trust you to keep an eye on her? Yes, your majesty. Good, because if you lie to me one more time, I'll have you taken care of. Brielle, wake up. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Setting you free. I took this from her. Draw her locked away and yourself as the queen. Open this door. Hurry. I'm trying. I drew it. She's... she's gone. We're finally free from the evil queen. Wait, but I'm missing one more thing. Well, now you're queen and you've got your puppy. I think it's time for you to finally leave your tower and go outside. Wear my soulmate's clothes or speak my soulmate's first language until I meet them. I don't feel like changing my style, so I'm gonna go with this one. Hopefully I don't regret it. Sweetie, you want some cereal? No, gracias, mamá. Debo ir ahora. Since when do you know Spanish? Ay, mamá. What is going on? Su alma gemela debe hablar español. I don't know that much Spanish. What are you saying? No importa. Mejor me voy. Hey, girl. Are you good? No, mira ese. Why are you speaking? Oh, well, hey, at least I'm fluent in Spanish so I can understand you. Tengo presentación hoy. No puedo hablar inglés hasta encontrar a mi alma gemela. Así que no sé qué hacer. Hey, Spanish is a beautiful language, and I'm sure the teacher will understand. You're gonna be fine, okay? Can you not speak in English today? Okay, it's fine. You know what? You don't even have to present. No what? fair! Everybody quiet down. I can't grade her if I don't understand her. Gracias, gracias, profe. You know, you've been handling having to speak a different language like a champ. Well, thank you. It was actually kind of hard because I... Wait, you're speaking English now. But that is only possible if... If we're soulmates. Mi idioma es el español. Hmm, who are your parents? Well, my parents are... Wait, dear. Actually, allow me. bippity boppity boo Daughter of Rapunzel and Flynn. Um, actually, it's Eugene. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. You'll be needing this now. What is that? Dear, this is a high school for good and evil. This is how we track your behavior. Oh. You better get to class. Hi, I'm Ruby, daughter of Snow White. It's nice to meet you, Ruby. I'm Amelia, daughter of Rapunzel. Oh, I'm a big fan of your father. Could you help me hold my books? Of course. Thank you. Hey, so question, who are all those guys over there? Amelia, those are the villain kids. Don't make eye contact. Would your hair happen to be magic, love? Oh, feisty. I'm sorry, love. I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> What's the matter? Did you figure out who my father is? Why did my scale move towards evil? Maybe you have a crush on a villain's son. Who are you the son of? Why don't you take a wild guess, love? You're the son of Captain Hook? Indeed. I shouldn't be talking to you. This is Amelia. Oh, hi, I'm Freya, daughter of Kristoff and Anna. You have magic hair, don't you? Don't tell anyone else. Sorry, of course not, I won't. Amelia, your scale. Were you talking to the villain kids? Can you blame her? They are so fine. Freya, this is serious. I heard someone wants to steal her hair. You can't trust the villain kids. Don't talk to them. Okay, I won't. Well, well. If it isn't Rapunzel's daughter. Stop it, you stay away from me and my hair. Take it easy, love. I was just going to ask you to come to the spring ball with me. I'm already going to the ball with someone else. And who might that be? It's, um... It's me. I'm Thomas, son of Sleeping Beauty. I'm the son of Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. Really, I didn't think they had a son. Well, obviously, they do. So if you'll excuse us, pirate, we're going to the ball. I'm really glad we met. Me too. Your hair is beautiful. You look just like your mom. Thanks. Is something wrong, Amelia? What's the matter? Well, it's just I thought my scale would move more towards good since I've been hanging out with you for so long. Come here, let me tell you a secret. I'm not actually a prince. <laughs> let me go, you jerk. Who are you the son of anyways? I'm the son of the villain Hans, and I need you to sing me the song that activates your powers. I should have known by the red hair, and I am not singing you that song. Okay, don't sing and I cut off all your hair. No. <laughs> Why do you need my healing powers? Because Elsa's daughter froze my heart, and only your powers can heal it. I don't have much time, so start singing. Go on, sing. You should know that my hair's magic isn't as strong as my mother's. It doesn't matter. Now say the words. I'm running out of time. Make the clock reverse. What the? Step away from the princess. Pirate. 
Jack. Hello, love. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It's called winning, mate. Hey, is that Snow White boxes you have on? Shut up. Oh. Oh. Just wait until my parents find out what you did. I owe you an apology. My scale was not moving towards evil because you were evil. It was moving towards evil because I was judging you based on who your parents were. I'm sorry. It's all right, love. My father, Captain Hook, does have quite the bad reputation. I'm just glad that you're safe. Hey, you're bleeding. It's just a scrape. Must have happened on my climb over here. Well, I do have magic hair that heals, so why don't I just sing the song? Well, wait just a minute, love. Because I reckon your lips are going to be a bit busy. <laughs> <laughs>